Before I start, hit that subscribe button and make sure to click that bell available on mobile and desktop. It's right next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So today I'm going to show you, it's not specifically for this phone that I have, it's for all phones. It's how to schedule Do Not Disturb. And let's begin. So, I've had some numerous YouTubers when I've been watching who have said that they don't use Do Not Disturb because they don't know what, when it's on or off. So, you can on your Android Wear smartwatch, it'll notify you that Do Not Disturb is on by showing you a little symbol, the Do Not Disturb symbol right above the clock. But, let's say you either have class from, let's say, 8 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon, and you don't want your phone to go off throughout the whole time so you don't get in trouble. Or you have work, and you have... You you have you have work, but you know for the day that you have maybe a, a meeting right after lunch, and you want you want it to do not disturb to go on during this time every day because you know you're you're going to be doing something either something important or you just want to go on. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the settings. You're going to want to go right into sound and notification and you're going to want to find in there do not disturb. You click do not disturb, there's never, always, or scheduled. Or another way to go into do not disturb is by tapping and holding the do not disturb, or clicking on do not disturb or tapping and holding depending on the phone and you click scheduled. And let's say you have a meeting every um, Tuesday, for example. So I just unchecked everything, and I clicked on. Now, start time, let's say it starts at 2 o'clock p.m., and it ends not 7 a.m. the next day. I'm going to click p.m. It ends, let's say, 4.45 p.m. that day. So, you can do total silence, alarms only, total silence, and you can't even select anything. So, or you can do priority, let's say you have kids or you have parents who may need to call you. Calls from start contacts only. With If the same person, blah, 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 that's bold because I have contacts from anyone. Um, reminders, events, messages. So... I just personally find this to be good, but for me, I need Monday and Wednesday. So, now that you have that scheduled, you don't have to worry about your phone ever going off at a specified you, at the specified times. It will automatically enable Do Not Disturb. You won't have to worry because I used this before. I just forgot to set it up on this phone, and this works wonders. I don't have to worry about my phone going off during random class during the two two classes that I have that I don't want to go off during I don't I don't have to have it, I don't have to worry about that cuz it will it it'll just automatically enable and then I won't have to worry about it disabling because it'll do by itself it'll turn off and turn on at the specific times and you just don't have to worry about anything hap and, and you're you you don't have to worry so if you know let's say you're a YouTuber you know you have a video to make every day or every two days at this time and you don't want your phone to go off during that time you, you can schedule do not disturb to go on for maybe an hour or whenever however much time you turn it you select it to go on until and you could just use it that way so there are multiple purposes to do not disturb mode I personally use it during the vi during videos but I like I want it to be enabled during those class times so, I hope this tutorial wasn't too long. Again, I hope this video, this video deserves a subscribe and 
the bell press so you notify when I hit, hit new videos then which is available right next to the subscribe button available on mobile and desktop and I hope you like this video I hope you can comment down below what other tutorials you want to see and just enjoy the rest of your day